This series is brought to you by VeloGuide. VeloGuide connects traveling cyclists with a bike and a guide in 72 countries around the world. It's a great way to ensure a fun, safe, and customizable ride with a local expert or even a pro. Go to VeloGuide.com slash cookies to get $20 off your next cycling adventure. Uh, but I'm still in Lehigh Valley for a couple days. I don't fly out to LA until Monday. Um, and while I'm here, I still have to show you this great cycling scene. So we're going to do it in a way that's like a little bit, a little bit weird, um, cause there's no bikes involved. Uh, but, uh, but we got the van. This is, uh, the, the van trip is still happening and we're doing a charity ride, uh, before I leave. So, uh, so, oh, and I, I know this area. I come, I used to race track here every summer I came when I first started out, um, I will be, I'm your velo guide. You can't see it because I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt because you need button downs for the sling. But, uh, but I'm your velo guide for this trip. And uh, I want to thank everyone who's donated so far to No Get Hungry. Um, and then of course the biggest, the biggest donor would be Show Air who, if it wasn't for them, I'd be doing a GoFundMe for me. Um, but uh, thanks. And uh, let me show you what we got going on in Lehigh Valley. So of course the reason that, that people come here to ride bikes is the bike riding is great. Um, this whole valley, all the Lehigh Valley, it's just all these farm fields. Um, beautiful roads, not a whole lot of traffic. Um, it's, it's kind of fun because the, the farms were built, I think, before the roads were. So the roads are going around people's private property. Um, so just suddenly a road will just make a left turn, a right turn, and that's just what you do around here. And, uh, and it's fine. But um, there's, there's all these ridges. You kind of ride from one ridge to another. And, and the way that we would, that we would sort of keep our bearings this is pre GPS I'm so old uh, the way we would keep our bearings is you go water tower to water tower so I'd come over one ridge be like oh I came from that water tower right through the valley to that next ridge repeat uh, for the entire summer so most of the most of the crops people are planting here most of it's just corn um, which I guess is true for the whole US but uh, it's just starting so as you can see it's you know it's, this is today's the first day of summer technically that we're filming this um, by by the middle of the summer you can't trust a right turn anymore because you can't see the cars coming around. The corn gets too high, and that's when you know it's time to leave town. <laughs> that was that was it. As though, okay, that's, that's it's that means it's getting to be August and it's time to go back to college or whatever we were doing. So uh, a very important stop on the the Lehigh Valley tour is Kutztown, downtown Kutztown. Um, the uh, this is where we live. Is right up here so this is salon joey and uh we lived in an apartment right above it so come with me my mom's filming follow me um so this is salon and then up those stairs there's apartments above it and uh and we would just cram eight guys into three rooms and that was fine i remember I remember Johnny spilled oatmeal on those stairs and we had to sweep it and everybody was pissed off. There was all this oatmeal in the street once. Um, but we're 21, it's fine. But uh, so a lot of the, the pro cycling community stays. Kutztown's like 15, 20 minutes from the track. Um, and a lot of cyclists kind of stay in this town. There's a Kutztown University is up the hill and they've got like apartments that are obviously empty in the summer because it's university. Um, but it's a cool little village, lots of fun, cheap restaurants and, uh, and a good atmosphere. So you can hear all the noise here. It was that was my window, that apartment on the right, the the middle floor. So all these trucks driving down the highway, and then they're shifting to get to this red light at the bottom of the hill, and then they reaccelerate the other way to go up the hill. Um, and that was that was how we would sleep. It was, it was all this noise. It's great for being an athlete. And another important part of the Kutztown scene is the Kutztown Tavern, uh, which is, it's a tavern. <laughs> There's a good place to hang out. We would do a lot of pretzel pizza was the thing. Um, I wasn't, I'm still not a beer person. I certainly wasn't then. But uh, everywhere here, like, it's, it's all German settled here. So uh, everything is pretzel, sourdough, uh, but the pretzel pizza is delicious. And they have like a pretzel, a soft pretzel that's uh, a little cheese and mustard. It's fantastic. I still think about it. I haven't been here in 10 years. Um, I might go in there and try one. Want to go? Let's go have one. The um, this is our this is our soft pretzel. Let's see if it holds up. You want to? You're gonna get it with a cube of cheese. Just kind of like this is meant for two hands, but we'll live. 
<laughs> yeah, that's how that's supposed to be. They do it right here. And there's a mustard. I mean, it's not a cookie, so I'm not an expert, but it's excellent. I just can't tell you how many times I remember being here with, with Dan and Rebecca Larson, who are the coaches at the University of Florida. Um, they, they taught me how to, how to draft and how to race, kind of. Um, and, uh, and they taught me how to be a bike racer, which is, which is living in that house on White Oak and, uh, and, and doing all this stuff. Um, it's cool to come back. Wouldn't have thought I'd be back, even, even like this. All right, and then this here is another house that I lived in for, I think, two summers. Uh, yeah, it was two summers. Um, I don't even know how many dudes. It was just, you would just cram a lot of bike racers into whatever beds, air beds. Um, no self-respect, and it's fine. Um, pleasant memories from here, which is, yeah. Yeah, this was the house on, uh, on White Oak Street. So... There we go. Somewhere, I don't know who's living in there now, but somewhere there's, there's many more houses in this valley crammed with bike racers doing the exact same thing. And I think that's beautiful. Uh, of course, the road cycling scene is also a big deal in this area, in Lehigh Valley. Um, here with Gabe Lloyd, who's, you're the voice of the velodrome. We spoke to your wife. Yep. Uh, now it's your turn. You also put on Reading Rad Sport. Tell That's us right. about that. Yeah, so we put on Reading Rad Sport Festival in Reading. It's the Mount Penn Hill Climb is part of that, which is part of the U.S. Which, Hill Climb. Which you guys are so lucky. I'm broken right now. <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. man. The KOM may Let's not stand. Uh, currently, it's seven minutes from the bottom of the top, set by Stephen Hall. Okay. He's a tracky from Australia. Wow. I bet you could have uh, well, maybe we'll given see. a Somebody rip. Somebody else had to do it for us this year. I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, so the Mount Penn Hill Climb as part of the Reading Rad Sport Festival is happening this year, August 3rd in Reading. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really cool. Really excited because the community is really, uh, really into it. We've got yep. this amazing atmosphere. You ride through this section called Turn 9. So it's the ninth turn on the course. And the community comes out in force. There's oh, yeah? eggs of beer. Nice. There are pretzels. Oh, there are okay. beer hand ups. Cookie it, corner. I like is, that. It is like, like a that. cookie corner, okay. but uh, uh, German Dutch style Perfect. with pretzels and beer. Perfect. Um, that's, that's a good transition to German Dutch style um, because the next thing I want to talk to you about is uh, so this area was settled by German. So they say the Pennsylvania Dutch, which is a bad translation of Pennsylvania Deutsch, Deutsch being German. Right. Uh, they weren't Dutch. So that's one thing. Uh, so this area was all settled by Germans. And now kind of what lingers is, um, is the Amish Mennonite community. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we stopped at this little kind of, it's a junk shop. Maybe don't tell them we said that, but it's, no I once bought a bicycle way. here for $50 that I abandoned in Kutztown. Um, I forget what the price. It might have been. It was somewhere between twenty-five and seventy-five dollars. <laughs> but I rode it to my car and back on Main Street, and then at mm -hmm. the end of the summer, I just left it somewhere and wrote "free" on it. Yeah, and that was good. That's generally the move. Um, yep. So. Uh, yeah. So let's go check this. Okay, out. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what they got in here. So the the Amish use no cars, no electricity, no nothing, right? Right. right. And yeah. the Mennonites, what do they do? So the Mennonites can... That was Floyd Landis, was Mennonite, right? That's right. Floyd is a Mennonite. He still is. And he still is. Okay. I don't know if you lose that. <laughs> I don't know if it wears off. When you go off the Tour de France, are you still... Yeah, okay. I don't know. So we'll just... All right, he is. As He's Mennonite. As we know, Floyd is still a Sure. I'll, I'll text him. And there are... Uh, you know, these guys can use motor vehicles sometimes for very specific purposes. But okay. Bicycles are their primary transportation method. Kitty. Kitty. Get the kitty. Got some kitties. Oh man, that's, that's important. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you? Pretty good here with sitting in the shade. Nice. That's smart. Yeah, that's smart. Do you know anybody that buys Pokemon? We got no. thousands of items. Thousands of Pokemon. Thousands of items. My daughter's got two boxes, three boxes this big. And this big, all full of Pokemon we got here, okay. here, on so the wagon much. there. Hmm. See? No, thank you. you. Right. Noted. Any Pokemon, this is... Yeah, you can go down there. Some rocks. That Jill was here about 10 years ago. I bought a bicycle here one time. Okay. Just try to 
put the things back where you got it because it's a mess down there. And, uh, okay. You got it. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So we went to the back and my mom, it looks like I'm always buckled up with this strap on. It looks like it's a seatbelt. Um, my mom didn't like the smell, so she left. So now we're in selfie mode again. Um, but we've got, we got this, hang on. I want to go to this area real quick. So here's like the rusty, like I just got a tetanus shot, so this is okay, but I'm not going to get any closer. And then there's a fish tank section, like broken aquarium section. If you need a, a broken aquarium, yeah. there's shelves of them, rusty shovels. I mean, there's life for all these things, you know, like we just throw things out and go to Home Depot and buy a new one for a dollar. So there's something to be said for this. Like they're not climate changing. These people aren't the problem. But nobody, nobody needs this either. There is literally everything in here. Yeah, you're right. It's everything. Like, um, absolutely everything. It smells like everything. Yes. Look oh how my far God, it's clothes. Goes. Whoa. Yeah. That's not a mirror. I'd be careful if I don't trip. Holy shit. I mean, Gabe, is this hoarding? Uh, well, it's they, not not hoarding. Well, they qualify it because they're selling it. Okay. So technically, it's a store. But if it weren't for that qualification, I think we'd be in the hoarding uh, territory here. I never watched that show, but I feel like this is kind of it. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah, I, think I don't want to get any deeper because I, mean, I also don't know how structural this is. Way. Yeah, there's layers. Yeah, I mean, we're we could go, we could do another aisle. Yeah, this is like Inception. Yeah, but like this is not like Inception. <laughs> this is this stuff, like rolls. It's like in those dreams in Inception where it just yeah. keeps folding on itself. Are we ever gonna get out? I don't know. It depends who's gonna wake us up. Oh shit! That would be great if I just woke up. <laughs> to be honest, if there was one right. video that I just woke up from and it wasn't real, I would take it. This one. I just got my, I totally got myself hitting my head on this busted shelf. Like, I feel like if you sneeze, this whole structure comes down. It's entirely possible. Yeah. Okay. Sunglasses are off. It's a birdcage section. It's a birdcage section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you buy a birdcage at Walmart here, you're an idiot. Yeah. You know? Some crystal. Yeah, yeah. Grilling hey, stuff. This might help you out. Do you need a neck massager? I do, but there's no way that works. Mm. And I can't fly with that. You never know, though. I appreciate you looking out. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is awesome. Look at all this art. I mean, this is crazier than like any Central Florida flea market. Oh, yeah. Like, this is, and that's high end crazy. This is interesting. Ooh, shout out to New Balance. <laughs> shout out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's some quilts um, or blankets or pillowcases. I think at this point, a gift to my mom would not be appreciated. I'll just do that. 9.50 an hour. So another important thing in, in Lehigh Valley, an institution, is Yakos Hot Dogs. Uh, so here we are. I've actually never had one, Gabe. I don't know if I should be embarrassed to admit that. I mean, I might be right there with you, Phil. Okay, so we're about to do that. Um, so here's the hot dog. Yeah. And there's a little bit of sauce on it. Yeah. This is, this is a thing here, though. Like, I didn't, it wasn't my idea. I was still like, oh, you gotta get a yellow. Okay, you first. <laughs> We're not gonna lady in the tramp, but all right, I'll go first. Yeah, yeah, you go for it. 
and then I'll take a bite from the other side here. Where are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> like if I was a kid, I would want that. Yeah. But I don't want any more of that. Because I'm an adult. And I'm already swollen. Yeah. You can feel the sodium. Mm-hmm. It's very salty. Yeah, it's straight to the cankles.